What's going on guys, and welcome to the last batch of Forzathon videos with Motorsport 7. At the end of this year, I'll be ending this line of weekly videos because, let's be honest, the prizes are not that great and it's a waste of time for me to create due to the new race shop turn 10 has added. So there won't be any new Forzathon videos going into 2019 for this game. However, going up to that point is still going to happen, so please make sure to pause the video at any given time because I will be throwing information up on the screen since I won't be going into exact detail for all of them. So let's go take a look how I receive these prizes. For the first prize, you have a chance to attain a small amount of cash by winning a circuit race event while using a major micros vehicle while in a class. Since you can't use a normal timed race for 30 seconds, I went to Top Gear's West Circuit and completed one lap around the small track. The next prize list will be a classic astronaut outfit and you need to win a race while using a Force of Touring Cars Division vehicle. I would like you to set the track to Le Mans because you will be doing this track back to back. Make sure to set up a timed race for 30 seconds and complete it in the correct car. After completing the race I would like you to hit the restart button because now you need to complete a race while using a Forza P2 vehicle. After switching rides to so just go back on the track for 30 seconds to claim your reward. For the last prize, you have a chance to win another pointless car that you can buy out of the dealership. But the objective is simple, complete a race while using a KTM vehicle. You can line this up with the second challenge at Dubai, but just make sure to set up a timed race for 30 seconds. Now for a second challenge, you need to complete 6 laps at Dubai City Circuit, but it needs to be the alternate layout while using an exotic GT vehicle. There's no other way around it, so run 6 laps to knock it out. Then for the final objective, you need to complete a race while managing at least 201 miles an hour while using a Rise of the Supercar Division vehicle. A few of these vehicles can hit the speed, but I would seriously upgrade the vehicle to the max and fly down Le Mans. You can set this up for a timed race if you want to, but just remember you have to hit over 200 miles an hour before the time runs out. Well, that pretty much wraps up everything that you need to know for this Forzathon event in Motorsport 7. From here, I hope you found this pretty useful, and I'll see you next time.